what's going on guys and welcome back to some more vikings we're gonna be doing season 5 episode 12 today and of course man we know what's going on there's a you know a lot of people agreed with my review of where the season is going and where the writing is going like you know it's this the aesthetics of the show is not going to change because usually that's not what changes about shows um, going forward. It's usually the writing and you can see the laziness when it comes on to writing. A lot of times, if you're watching the show from season one, you can see the progressive decline of the level of writing. It's like they're not paying attention to the storylines that they've built up um to a certain point and then sometimes they just ignore it and just move on to the next thing which is oh let's let we we gotta end the story so let's rush it you get what i'm saying let's rush it let's do weird time skips without telling the audience you know what i'm saying i'm not talking about the one that made the sons grow up not that that one was good it was obvious you get what i'm saying but it seems like there was a time skip between the battle and when when Bjorn came to Kattegat, it just kind of seems like that. For some reason, they changed Lagatha's hair, which caught me off guard because I'm like, why the hell is she, why does she have gray hair? She never had gray hair. Why did that happen all of a sudden? But it seems like she got older. Also, the relationship between her and Bishop Hagman, I'm not for it. Like, it was thrown upon us, but hey, we're here, so we got to accept it. Um... I think other than that, everything, um, the whole thing with Rolo, as I said, the reveal of him being Bjorn's dad is, it's meh at best. It wasn't great. You know what I'm saying? I like the dialogue, as I've explained in the, in the review. I like the dialogue that I love what Bjorn said to him. Like that was played out right. And I think they were anticipating people were going to be like, that wasn't a surprise. You get what I'm saying? It, there should have been a better build up to that reveal. You get what I'm saying? Like it didn't, there was a hint, you know, and somebody did tell me what episode it was. I don't remember what he wrote or what the person wrote, but somebody did write, write it in the comment section. Let me know what episode it was when Lagatha hinted towards it. And I was saying, huh, that's weird, but that's not how you build up a reveal like that. That should have been a better reveal in my opinion, I don't think the actor that played Rolo did a very good job. <laughs> I don't want to curse. I don't want to say his acting was bad. I don't want to say that. I think the writing that led up to a reveal like that, because that was supposed to be um, somewhat of a big reveal. I wouldn't say it would have been, you know, you know, on the level of, you know what I'm saying, like certain shows where you find out that find out something big you know what i mean you know like the whole the whole john snow targaryen situation like it that was such that was built up so good and done so well you know it it it, it should have been a reveal like that for vikings you get what I'm saying? It should have been a reveal like that. Not to say that Bjorn wouldn't have the same line of thinking, but it's just the build up to it. It was just like, okay, you know what I'm saying? You're just here just to tell us that, you know what I mean? It was kind of not great. That's what I'm trying to say. But anyways, we're going to jump into this episode. I'm still going to be watching Vikings regardless of criticism. I'm still going to be watching it to see how the story ends. So... And then I will have my final thoughts, of course, once we get through all the episodes, um, because season six is the final season, and they have not wrapped that up yet. I heard that the, the second part of season six is going to be airing soon, starting, so we'll see how things go. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let's go watch this episode, and I will have my review afterwards. Let's go. All right, so here we are. 
season five, episode twelve, is in the books, and Bishop Hegman is gone rogue. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's so it's it it it's so um to see kind of like the same themes playing out in this show. Like when I'm watching Spartacus right now. In Spartacus, a lot of people, they the whole theme of the entire show, like at the base of it, the entire thing is built on love, right? What you would do for love over what you wouldn't do for love. You get what I'm saying? And in this show, I'm at this point in the show, that is where we're seeing a lot of people doing a lot of things outside of what they usually do for love i.e what bishop hegman is doing um so yeah that girl i don't know how things are going to go it's i don't think it's wise what bjorn is doing but this woman watch what she wants she and the thing about it is this even if alfred gets married to her it's it's really not gonna be that big a deal if they find if they find out it might be a big deal i should say um but I don't think Alfred is going to take it that serious. I don't think Judith is going to take it that serious because she did the same damn thing. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's how he came about. You know what I'm saying? That's how Alfred even came into the world is because she saw something that she wanted and went for it. Not only because Athelstan was a priest, but also because he was stepping outside of the box. That's what really attracted her to him you know what i'm saying so so that was pretty cool um so i don't know i don't know what's going to be the repercussions of that if alfred does find out um i don't think it's that's going to be that big a deal the situation did they really kill margaret i don't know i don't know if ivar actually sent people to kill her i think maybe she's dreaming or maybe she's hallucinating because then it wouldn't it, the way how she died on them dudes and nothing was said it just didn't make sense you get what i'm saying i don't know maybe it's vitzer that sent men to kill because of what she said to him maybe but other than that i don't know how to put that into the story and be like okay i'm okay with that because i'm not okay but other than that actress that's spraying margaret she's killing it she's killing it she killed that scene whether it was her final scene or not she killed that scene where of her getting killed and also the scene before that that she did with Fitzert. um i know i don't give her a lot of praise for her acting or something it's just that i didn't like her attitude on the show but her acting is really good right so um i just don't like her character because she she's feeling too uppity feeling out of she's talking out of turn and doing all of this stuff it's like who are you remember you were a slave what are you doing <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i'm not saying that she shouldn't have any freedom of th of thought or to speak up but the stuff that she's saying you ain't never gonna be queen you're not queen quality you get what i'm saying you're not lagatha you're not queen Oslog. you're not any of these people you get what I'm saying? That could rise to that level and I could say, okay, I would want you to be my queen. You don't, you've you done nothing. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Um, for me to be like, okay, you have that leadership quality that could really stand beside a man of uber stature. You know what I'm saying? So um, maybe I'm biased. Maybe I'm biased. Who knows? You know, but... Um, so yeah, man. Um, the situation with Floki, they didn't show too much, but he, but the last time we saw him, he was crying, um, and saying, "Have the gods really forsaken him?" Um, and saying, "Was I fooled? Was I an idiot?" You know, um, I don't think that's the case. I think it's just a matter of them just doing the right thing and building what they doing what they went there to do in the first place. And if you have discord, if you don't have unity. You're going to have that problem. You're always going to have that problem. You're going to have doubts. It's part of the journey. Doubt is part of the journey. So I'm definitely um, intrigued in seeing what happens with that storyline. Because obviously I don't think they're going back to Cat to Cat. I think it's a separate storyline that has nothing to do with the main story at this point. But if he returns, then I will consider them, you know, returning 
to, but we're learning some lessons from that side story, if you want to call it that. Um, so yeah, um, I love, I don't know about them renouncing their God or Ubed renouncing the gods to baptize the Christian. As I said, Rolo and Ragnar did it, but they, you, you know, it was just to fool them. You know what I'm saying? Into thinking they were going on their side. So he could do the same thing. Um, but how is Bjorn going to take it? You know what I mean? If he doesn't tell Bjorn that he's going to do it. Um, I get where Alfred is coming from, but I think that is too much to ask a person to renounce their faith so you can be more comfortable to give them land. I don't think, I don't think that's cool. But as I said, he's wearing the crown very well. You know what I'm saying? In some ways, he does remind me of King Egbert in a way of how he dealt with stuff. Um, you know, even though, you know, he had other plans in some way, somehow to, to, to get things done. But at the same time, he's, he's very eloquent. I like how he handles situations and the way how he speaks. He speaks with authority, even though it's very soft spoken, but he does speak with some authority. That's why I said that he reminds me of King Egbert a lot. So yeah, man. So that's all I have to say on that. It was a very good episode. I liked it. Um, other than, you know, that one part where I was saying, where's, I still don't know where this tension is coming from. So I'm hopefully one of you guys will tell me in the comment section, what's this attitude between Hegman and Aetherred? Like, I don't get it. Like, where did that, that kind of came from out of left field for me? Um, maybe I just missed what happened or i just don't remember if something happened between them so you guys can let me know please in the comment section if i missed something there or if i just went off for no reason you know i'm a mistake i don't remember everything so um thank you guys so much i'll catch you guys later make sure you leave a like and leave a comment subscribe if you're new and we're out here man peace